Next, let's look at the blender in more detail. You have fresh gas flowing from the blender here. By adjusting the analog blender's knobs, you can change the blend of air and oxygen in the fresh gas. We recommend a flow of 15 litre per minute as the basic standard. If you open the O2 valve to 15 litre per minute, then the air valve can be closed. This will give an FiO2 of close to 100%. If you wish to set a lower FiO2, then please set the O2 and the air valves as needed. If they're both at around 7.5 litre per minute, you'll get an FiO2 around 60%. There's a table on page 48 of the user manual which shows the FiO2 settings and we recommend to keep a copy of the table attached to the ventilator. Next, let's revisit the overall principle of the MV20 and the direction of the gas flows. We'll start with the exhalation phase. As the patient breathes out, their exhaled gas goes down the breathing tube and pushes air out of the back of the ventilator. During this exhalation phase, the constant flow of blended air from the jackson reese tube will push the exhaled air out from the patient's circuit, replenishing the volume of air in the circuit ready for the next breath. In the inhalation phase, the main unit launches a jet of pressure into the patient, into the patient breathing tube from this outlet, pushing the volume of blended air into the patient's airways and opening their lungs. When the set pressure is reached and the set inspiration time is complete, the main unit will release its pressure. The air in the patient's lungs will flow naturally back into the breathing circuit, back to the main unit and out of the exhaust port on the rear of the unit. And the breathing tube will again be replenished by the fresh gas from the blender.